This question is on number patterns. You are given the information that is the following are set are the first four diagrams in a pattern. So this is a situation that is going and on and on and on. So there are so many diagrams that are there, but we are just given only the first four. So we are given the first, the second, the third, and the fourth. So we are supposed to study whatever that is happening here. You are supposed to analyze, study everything. So the first part of our question, we were given the pattern number one, two, and this is 3.14 and so on and so on and so on. All right. That part is representing the pattern number one, the pattern number two. We don't know what's going to be here. Then we move on to pattern number four, five, six, seven, and so on and so on. Then the number of the shaded blocks, this is what we need on this table, the blocks which are shaded. All right, so what does it mean? The pattern number, the first one, how many blocks are shaded? Let's go to the diagram. This is the first one. The first one. The first, let's consider one, two, three, four. So that is what they are saying here, okay? This is what we have on this table. The pattern, which is the first, this is the first block. The, I mean, the first pattern, which is the first term, represents or is going to be equal to four. It is equivalent to four. The second one, you are going to do the same thing. You count this. You're going to see that on the second one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is what you are having on the second one, two versus eight. The third one, if we move on to the third one, right? Let's go on to the third one and see what's going to happen. Third one, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So when these are three, all right, meaning to say we have got 12 there. So this is just three, not 3.1. This is just three. So three is versus 12, all right? The same thing, four versus 16, if we had to count those other blocks. So the question was, how many shaded blocks would be in the 16th diagram? Meaning to say we are going to have the number of blocks in the 15th, the pattern. We are going to have the 15th. We do not know what's going to be here, but we want on the 16th, what is going to be here. All right, so if we take a closer look, we want to see what is happening between these. How are they separated? One, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. So one corresponds to four, two to eight, three to 12, four to 16. So what is happening on these numbers, these ones? Four, eight, 12, 16, what is happening on these numbers? You are going to see that there is a difference of four throughout here. Eight minus four, that is a four. You move on to these two terms here, 12 minus eight, there's a difference of four. There is a common difference, 16 minus 12, there is a difference of four. So throughout, there is a difference of a four. So if there's a common Difference, which is the constant difference, this one is the same throughout, which is our constant difference. So what is simply happening is that you are simply adding this, you add four, you get 12, four, you add here, that's a 12, you add, that's a 16 and so on. So meaning to say the fifth one, if this is 16 on the fourth, the 15th one, if this is five, all right, let's say, this here, there is a five. Let's say there is a five here, like one, two, three, four, five. So you're going to add, we add a four to get this one 16. So 16, if we add a four, what are we going to have? That's a 20, all right? Then we move on from five to six. You add a four on this to add all these numbers. You're adding a four, that is the difference. So you add a four on this 20. What are you going to have? If you add a four, that is going to be a 24. So meaning to say here, 
the number of shaded blocks will be 24 on the 60, on the 60 part. Okay, that is why we are going to have this. Determine the number of blocks in the nth diagram. Meaning to say we are talking about Tn at the end here, when the numbers are, are at the end, 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 end part, the last part. This is your rule. This is the rule of this part. So the rule, how is it given? That is how the question can be given. In another question, they can ask you like, what is the rule? So the rule I say, if there is a difference that is constant difference like this, you are going to have your difference like this times n plus a certain number, or you're going to subtract a certain, we do not know. So this first block is for the difference, the constant difference, and our constant difference is four. So this is what I want you to understand. So this is what you do. You take your T1 and so on. So you're gonna solve like an equation. Remember how you solve this equation? Your T1 is equal to what? Your T1 is equal to a four. So what does it mean? It means if our T1 is a four, this is what you're gonna do. You substitute here to get this, all right? Your T1, your N, N is one, but the answer is a four. So it means a four, is equal to four times n or n is one t n n n is represented by by one. But there's something that we are supposed to have here so that we get this. So if you are to check, this is four is equal to four plus four. That's a four plus this, which we do not know. This one we do not know this. So if we take this four. To the other side, it's going to be 4 minus 4. That's a 0. What are we going to add here to get a 4? There is nothing that we are going to add to get a 4. There's nothing. So this number, there's nothing there. That, that's a 0. Okay? You can prove that with another one and so on, but you're going to see that there is nothing there. So therefore, our Tn at the end was going to be equal to 4n. So let's say there's a minus one, it was gonna be minus one. If there was a plus two, it was gonna be a plus two. So there is nothing that you are going to add. It's simply Tn as it is. So it means with this expression, we can find any equivalent uh, Tn, like what we're given on 5.3. On 5.3, they want you to, the question is, which diagram in the sequence will we have 276 blocks. All right. So if you take note here, this is the number of the shaded blocks and the pattern number. So what are we given? We are given the total, which is our TN as 276. We are given our TN as 276. And what we want is to find what corresponds on the number here. It's like we are given this you are given a number which is 276. So you want to know the, the, the corresponding pattern number here, what was going to be the pattern number. So this is what you can just use this formula that you have, that just like you're solving an equation, all right? Remember those linear equations, guys, those basic equation, this is it. 276 is your TN, this one. It's not any that you're given, it's TN. This one is TN. If they give you N is the number of terms, this is which diagram. So the diagram, like on the part of the diagram, what you need is to find on top the pattern number, which is you need to find N. So this time we are given TN. Take note, there is another question that we did where we are given N, but this time, we are given Tn, take note, and you need to find N. So what is N? So if Tn is equal to this, you're just gonna equate because this is your Tn. So you simply write this, two, seven, six is equal to four N. So in place of Tn, because this is our Tn, you, you, you put this two, seven, six. So two, seven, six is equal to four N. So how do you find N? 
you are going to divide by four since you are multiplying. Remember our basic linear equations. If you multiply, you divide. So this will divide. That means you have got N. So N is equal to 276 divided by a four. So that means if we divide these two, we have N, which is gonna be 69. So N is the 69th, 69th diagram, guys. All right, that's 69th diagram. N is number of terms, but there we are not given the number of terms. No, we are given the total. We are given like where they end, but what is the number that corresponds there? That is the question. So guys, make sure that you revise more questions like these uh, so that you understand.